me and Mike are, are really great friends. Here we go. It's always selling for you. Social media is a great place for that to spread, and sometimes it can spread like wildfire. Over a million, two million dollars in revenue that you didn't have before online. I know that I bought from people just because I liked that person. It can branch outside of social media as well, but the, the point is you really just want people talking about your product. So with 10 years in size, did you ever think we were going to get to the 10 year mark? Honestly, I, I did start to see it as years went on, but like starting off, you know, I, I didn't worry. I was just worried about the next day. Sure. Um, and I think, I think, you know, that's one of the cool things that we're talking about today is, you know, our 10 years coming up June 12th and you know, it's a, it's a big celebration for us, right? Like, and that's why we're, we're flying everyone in from different cities. They're plus ones. We're going to have this huge party um, because it, I, I think it signifies how far we've come um, and, you know, how we got here. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a really like surreal moment for me because, you know, I, you know, obviously I, I breathe UTech, I bleed UTech, it's, it, it, it is me, I'm, I'm UTech, but also it's cool to see, you know, how many other people are involved um, and what we started with, right? Like, like starting off, you know, there was only a few of us and it grew from there, but then it just realized that like, we had a lot of potential to kind of continue evolving it. And the fact that we did continue to evolve it, the fact that we went through all these obstacles and changes and things without funding, without PE money, without, you know, things like that, it's just a testament to, to UTech itself. So I think um, from my end, the 10 years, it's, it's a crazy, it's been a crazy ride. You know, I'm, I'm 31 now, I was 21, I was in college when it started. And now I just look back and I'm like, wow, 10 years ago, I didn't know anything. Like I had no idea what was in store. And now, 10 years later, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty seasoned in, in, you know, how to operate this business, how to scale it and what we're looking for. But man, it's, it's been a crazy ride. Well, I think, I think we were always talented and we just didn't have the experience. Right. And it gives you a yeah. certain level of perspective. I think over time, like just having been in so many different situations, you can kind of like just identify those easier and say like, ah, okay. Like, well, if we do this, this could happen. Whereas you just didn't right. know that before, you know? Right. Um, but I, 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 it's been seven years for me. So I wasn't here from the beginning. And I'm, I've, got, I've actually had some funny stories about, you know, trying to persuade Lauren, our COO, not to work here prior to right. working here because I didn't know right. anything about you, Tech. <laughs> um, but that, <laughs> that, was, that was funny. But yeah, man, I just remember with me, like coming in, you know, we were on probably our third office at the time. So I, you know, I missed the first two. I missed that initial experience. And I definitely want to ask you more about that today. But for me, it, it's been surreal too, because when I first came in, I was working primarily at one of our client's offices downtown hey, and I would right. just come into the office on Fridays and there wasn't even, I didn't even really have like my own desk or anything. Right. And then, you know, like we were all just kind of like in one little spot and uh, it was very like family oriented almost like very close knit and everything. And I know we've tried to keep that going as we get bigger, but at the same time, there are so many employees here now who were never here then right. probably just right. don't, you know, like you could try to explain it to them, but it's hard. It's hard to give them right. that same feeling. I think. Right but it, it's been a ride for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think, well, let me ask you this. What is one of the most memorable times that you've had in the last seven years that you've been here um, at Utah? Well, I think, I think honestly for me, and, and this is like a unique one, I don't know that anyone else could say this, but uh, when we acquired Norton Norris, uh, that relation there, like that's, that's my parents who started Norton Norris and then we acquired them. I always wanted to do my own thing. You know, I, I always, I never wanted to like live in my parents' shadow and just work for them and stay there. And it was kind of surreal for me that I was able to come here and in a sense, do my own thing. You know, like I'm, I'm a part of something. I didn't do it, but I helped with it for sure. And to just see that come full circle and be able to take what my parents built, but then transform that into what I helped build right. and push that forward. To me, that's, that was super cool. That was really, really, that was really, well, that's cool. definitely a unique type thing. And I, I feel like no one else will be able to relate to that because I don't know any other parents that own, <laughs> you know, marketing agencies. So I, you know, I think it's cool and it, it has to be a good feeling, you know, for oh, you yeah. and, 
Um, and obviously, you know, one thing that, you know, we're very transparent on is, is, um, you know, the people that have helped build this business and, you know, you are a huge aspect to that in the whole marketing side, you know, and when you first came on, you didn't know marketing. We brought you on yeah. to be a project manager to write content. And then you just took it upon yourself to just continue learning and continue building on marketing. And now, I mean, we are very good at it. We have hundreds and thousands of clients across the world because of it. And a huge aspect to that was because of you and your leadership. And so, um, and the fact that, you know, your parents, even though, you know, and I know from a business owner standpoint, when they build something, that's their baby, right? Like yeah. that's their, oh, yeah. that's everything. Cause they I was also it. their baby, but that yeah. was their baby too. <laughs> <laughs> There's an emotional attachment to it. Right. But I feel like, you know, Vince and Jean, um, were very, very comfortable with handing over the keys to you and me because they yep. knew you know everything that we've been through so that i i definitely think that's that's definitely um that was a memorable moment for me too because at the end of the day like that was our first acquisition i've never been through that process i went and got my mba went through the acquisitions and mergers i understood it i've seen all these different things but i never actually went through it there was a lot of stuff that i learned along that way um and it helped that they you know they helped with the process as well but um no, it was cool. It was, it was definitely memorable for me too. Well, touching on what you said, first off, thank you for the compliment, but I don't think I did anything different than what UTech culture already had built. Like that, that foundationally, like the culture I walked into here was if there's an opportunity, seize it. And that was kind of, I mean, that was just it. Like, and I, I got that probably from you, I, I would assume. I don't know though. That was already the culture when I walked in and it was like, you know, uh, to your point about we didn't do a ton of marketing or whatever. Like I just saw an opportunity, so I seized it, you know? Right. And I, I think we've continued to do that over time too. Like, I think we still do that today. You know, there's right. stuff like, uh, <laughs> I was asking about like TikTok, how you get on TikTok and stuff. And it's like a difficult it's not super easy to just get on TikTok. Like you can start an account and stuff, but like, if you really want to grow it, it's difficult. And right. we are, you know, like we're adapting, we're jumping on that. We're ready to do it. And then everything else that pops up, you know, right. like, like marketing changes and we just adapt continuously. Right. And I love that about us. I think that's like one of my favorite things about UTech as a whole is just that adaptability and that willingness to change. Because I think in a lot of organizations, people just get so caught up in, they, they like their routine. Right? right. They don't want, they're threatened by new things. They're like, Oh no, something new. We, we just want to keep doing it the old way. And we're not like that. And I love right. that. I love that about you tech. No. Yeah. I think that's, that's one of the selling points, right? Like when we first started, my mindset has always been like, if anyone is willing to work with us and pay us for something, right. Even if we never did it before, that's an opportunity and we're going to take it. And, you know, obviously as you continue to grow, you have to limit and now choose a little bit more carefully about the, the opportunities, but we still have endless amount of opportunity. But from our end before, like, you know, websites, you know, someone come in and be like, okay, well, I'm only going to pay you $500 for this website. But in your head, you're thinking three steps ahead, right? Like you're thinking, okay, I'll build this, probably break even, make a loss on this website. But I have this connection and he has this connection and this will help me with credibility in this area or this yeah. industry because of that. And that's how the mindset has always been as we continue to evolve. And, um, you know, we still do that to this day. I mean, I know it's more difficult these days, but, um, you know, with 80 some employees, it's not as easy to just take on every opportunity that you see. More we risk. Yeah. yeah. We got to get smarter about it, but, um, but you're right. I mean, I think, I think the roots are still there and I think the mentality is still there. And, and, you know, the thing too, is that, you know, the coolest thing is, is that, you know, when we were much smaller, we got to work a lot closer. Right. And we got to work on all these different projects because we were the ones doing it. And now 10 years later, we have this team that's doing a lot of the services that, you know, we sell and, and that we built out. Um, but it's also starting to see like their progression and how they, how they move without the company and um how they advance their careers and you know having someone jump from social media to pay it social you know because they see an opportunity and they want to they want to continue to grow and enhance their careers or you know I, I commend you know i always talk about like you and lauren and 
Nate and Eric and, you know, all those people in the beginning that helped kind of get this thing off the ground. But now too, like that next level, we have like, you know, Tarek in Arizona that started with this as a specialist in Tara and Megan that started from social media that moved over to paid social and Hannah starting as my assistant. Now the director, like we're having this next level of growth of our core, which is, is super, super cool to see. Um, I'm, that I'm really, really proud of because I do think that that now their job is to find the next group that's going to help, you know, take us to that next level as well. So as we continue to evolve, um, you know, I'm excited to see what happens in the next 10 years. Um, but again, my mindset is we're going to take it year by year and, and, and see how this goes. Um, but the mentality is there that now that we accomplished the hardest part, the first 10 years and, and got to where we are, and we have the resources now, I think, I don't want to say it'll get easier, but I think it will give us even more opportunity because we have the resources that we need. Sure. I agree. I think too, I, I think we also just touched on what's somewhat similar, but what would you say are the biggest differences from 10 years ago to now? Outside um, of everything. <laughs> and it just I think 10 years ago too, like our problems were a lot smaller, but they seemed a lot bigger, right? So like okay. yeah. you know, back then. It was like, okay, well, how are we going to buy this desk for this new person that, you know, we want to hire? Or how do we get these people on payroll? We never ran payroll before. Like the, the, the problems were a lot smaller. Um, but at the time, they seemed massive, right? They, they were like, how do we even conquer this? You know, um, and now it's just, it's, it's similar problems, but the problems are, minuscule now like I the way that I, I approach every situation is just a little bit differently where you know choices that we need to make here and there like there's there's people that know what they're doing um there's outside resources that we can bring in if we need help um we look for professionals and, and consultants to help guide us mm -hmm. um and things just run a little bit smoother and, and the one thing I realized too along the way is there's no big problem that's going to ruin you know anything for us like we yeah. we're pretty well established and we kind of know what what needs to work in order for us to be successful and um you know nothing really stresses me out too much these days um but at the same time obviously you know there's still growing pains and there's still things that you know we have to take risk on and, and all that but it's different right it, it, it's not okay, we have, you know, $5,000 in bills coming in. How are we going to pay that? We got to go sell a deal. It's more, you know, I guess more different from an enterprise or more corporate, bigger structured level. That makes sense. I, I think it goes back, not to like harp on this point, but when I said perspective at the beginning of the call, I feel like that was a general theme of your answer just now too. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just, you know, we've, we've kind of been through it. You've, you've seen it. You've seen similar problems, at least if you haven't seen that exact one. So you just got yeah. an idea of, We'll get through it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And it was, it was also adapting, right? Like I, I, adapting to the, the roles as we continue to create them. And even just recently with you and, and Lauren and Eric and kind of adapting your roles again, because we've reached a, a threshold where I need you guys think bigger picture or bigger, whatever it, to, to scaling. And I think, um, you know, one of the hardest things for me was turning from an entrepreneur business owner type to like a real, real CEO, right? Like mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, you're doing everything. You're wearing different hats, you're doing everything, you're selling, you're helping with the projects, you're everything that you're trying to do to facilitate, facilitate the business. And now, and you want your hands on everything because you're, you're, you're trying to get everything going. And the hardest part along that process was for me to actually take a step away sure. as we continue to grow because I'm so used to jumping in to doing everything but as a CEO, you need to hire the resources and delegate out so that they're able to take on those things. And now my job really consists of obviously like, you know, the point of scaling and, and, and all that, but really my job is to come in every single day and make a good few smart decisions a day for the entire company. Like mm -hmm. that that's really the mindset of, okay, well, we have a big decision here, which way do we want to go? And me analyzing that, getting all the data and making that decision, I think that is the biggest part of my job now. Um, but it's less so much about 
trying to jump in and do every single thing. You know, obviously I still do on specific accounts and specific areas, but I feel like I have a really, really good team around me that I've, that I've hired and, and put around that generally do a lot of that for the company because they, they know more, they're smarter, they know their fields better and I trust them. So let them shine and let them do their thing. Well, I think, I think that's the mark of a good CEO to, to do that. And I, I bet, you know, like hearing you say it, it sounds so simple, right? Like, oh, I just make like three decisions today, whatever, but I'm sure it's so much more. <laughs> I simplified it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, those, those could have massive repercussions and there's, there's so much like, I'm sure that's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, yeah. I mean, I still, I really try to simplify my role, but obviously I think, I think um, it's just important that people grow with their jobs. And one thing that I always told, obviously you and, and the people that started with me is never let out you tech outgrow you. I'm taking um, that heart, dude. Yeah. It, it's, it's really, really important because if you let the company outgrow you and then you don't grow with it as your role evolves, it, it becomes a problem. Right. And, and, and then we need to go, what, find a more qualified person to do it, a more experienced person. You want to grow with it. Um, we, I think we did a really, really good job of that. And everyone has kind of come along the way and, that's, that's without, um, you know, not saying that we didn't go through mistakes. We went through a hell, a hell of a lot of mistakes along the way, but truthfully experience in that and learning through it and losing millions of dollars because of it. I mean, it's the hardest way to kind of go through it, but it was also the most impactful too, right? Like once we've screwed up in one area, like we knew not to do that again. We, we say this a lot and we've definitely said this on other episodes too, but just learning so much from those failures, I think is another thing that, yeah. you know, I, I, again, we've hammered it home numerous times, so I don't know that we need to again, but just learning, like being, putting yourself out there to fail, first of all, then doing it, then learning from it just teaches you so much more than just constant success. Cause you just, you think it's just going to be easy going all the time and, you know, it's, it's different than that. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I, I think that's, that's so true, but also I wanted to hit home, like for all the people that, you know, jumped on with us, even still to this day, I mean, they believe in what we provide. Right. But in the beginning, when we first started off, it was different. I was selling myself and they were trying, essentially I was selling myself, right? Like I, I was selling you tech, but I was selling the vision of what we could be doing in, in, that shift had to take place recently too, where it was like, they're no, no longer buying because of our story and our cute kids. And we're just trying to make it. It's more of what can we actually provide this company for a real return? Um, and so like we've evolved so much over time from not just from a, like our service standpoint and the different services that we offer, but from a marketing standpoint, from a sales standpoint, from a, admin standpoint, HR and, and administrative and the benefits and everything has evolved over time. And when you take a look back 10 years, five years, so much has changed, but you never realize it until like you take that giant step back and take a look at the, the, the entire picture. And like, I don't know how we got through so much of that stuff. And now if you were to tell me like, we got to do that change again, like I would think, oh my God, it's, it's going to take forever to do these changes, but it, it gradually happens and time flies by so quickly True. Um, that, you know, just advice for anyone. It's just, you know, you got to um, take it step by step. Don't look at the entire mountaintop, but yeah, man, like the 10 years, I got, I got to thank so many people in regards to our clients and the support system and the people that kind of bought in, in the very beginning. And I want to also thank like the clients that that believe in us now it's it's just you know our, our job is to perform and, and get you the results that you're looking for um but also at the same time i mean i think i think we wouldn't be here without without our clients you know like it, yeah. it, it's they they had to jump in and, and you know that goes same true as like the people that we have and one thing that i learned across the way was you know we people don't just build businesses, right? Like people build people, people then build businesses. And that's just typically how it works. And I'm just really proud of everyone here at UTech, the growth that we have, and typically all the feedback that we get, whether they stay or they go at UTech and, and that cycle is, they, they learn more here 
mm -hmm. and anywhere else that they would go. Um, and I think that's a testament to us. Now it's not a fit for everyone. So I'll just throw that out there. You know, like you, you have to have a specific type to, to kind of be able to do it. But also at the same time, I mean, I just think that we're always learning and everyone's always trying to push to be better. And I think that's a huge advantage for us over other places. It's inspiring. Just, just being around that every day, you know, people say you're the sum of the, or is that the five people that spend your yeah. most time with? Yeah. I mean, I spend, outside of like my wife, I think, uh, I think it's probably, you know, people here and um, just being around that all day, like people being uplifting, people pushing, uh, whether they realize it or not, they're probably, you know, pushing me in some ways too. So shout out to everybody who, who pushes each day. Yeah, here for yeah man, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I know five years ago, we had the five year anniversary and we, we went and flew in Gorilla Zoe. Yeah. And, and we had the party in my backyard and it was, it was a blast, right? Like oh, it was so much fun. Was, yeah. So much fun. But then two years before that, three years before that, at our second year anniversary, we had it at my parents' house where I was living. And, you know, we just did something in the backyard and it was simple. Three years later, we got Gorilla Zoe. And then now five years later, we're doing the 10 year and we're doing it at this super nice country club. It's a black tie event. We have 150 people coming. We have, you know, acts and everything that you can imagine, I think. It's just, it's super cool that we get to celebrate this way. And it's super cool that everyone, for the first time ever, actually, where we flew yeah. everyone in the company to one location. And a lot of people haven't met. Like, like yeah. that's a crazy thing, too, is like they work together online, they're on Slack, they do videos, Zoom, whatever. And like, there's people that fly in and out forever or, or whatever, but not everyone has met everyone. And so mm -hmm. this is the first time that everyone gets to meet everyone. And I'm super, super excited for that. I, it's always so weird to me when I meet people who I've seen over Zoom or Google yeah. so many times, and I'm like, "Oh my God, you're!" Everyone always tells me I'm taller than they expected, and I'm I'm six foot. I don't think I'm like exceptionally tall. I'm like, "Do you guys do it higher or something? Like, what, what's that?" But you know, it it is really cool, man, and I I'm super excited for it. It'll be so fun. I I've started writing my speech and everything already. I'm ready to go. All right, cool. Well. Again, I mean, I, I want to thank everyone that has supported us throughout the journey, even listening to this podcast, if you are listening. Um, you know, we're really, really grateful for where we've come. I'm really, really grateful for it. But I am excited for the next 10 years. And I do think that our goals and our ambitions and, you know, I, I never thought that we would be here today. And this would be unimaginable based off of, you know, 10 years ago. So I'm not going to set the bar too low in regards to the next 10 years, but I'm super, super excited to see where we end up. Me too. Thank you all so much. Thanks guys. What's up guys, Norris here. If you haven't seen enough of me yet, I'm back again, typical end screen video here. Leave us a like if you liked the video, drop us a comment if you didn't, or if you have something to say, we'd love to hear from you. Last but not least, subscribe. We'll put that button like right about here and uh, go ahead and click that. We get all updates on our videos going forward. Thank you so much for supporting us. We hope that you like the videos. We love recording them for you.